Welcome guys, today I show you the fruits of the rose, also called rose hips, and how to use them. The hedge rose grows as a deciduous, broad-growing shrub and reaches heights of 2 to 3 meters. The spines are strong, hooked and usually longer than the broad base. The leaves are pinnate with 5 to 9 closely spaced leaflets. The leaflets are thin and 2 to 4 centimeters long, roundish ovate to elliptic with a blunt upper end usually single serrated, usually hairy on both sides, but at least on the underside of the nerves. The spindle is downy hairy. Flowering time is in June. The flowers stand individually or together too many. Like the flower cup, the relatively long flower stems are usually hairy. The five sepals are moderately pinnate, on the back mostly glabrous, rarely somewhat glandular. The five petals are white to pale pink in color. After flowering, many wild roses start to grow rose hips, which ripen in late summer and autumn. Rose hips are one and a half to two centimeters long, ovoid or spherical, and usually smooth. The rose fruits have a very high vitamin C content and can be processed fresh into delicious jam or juice, as well as dried into refreshing and healing tea. If possible, harvest rose hips on dry sunny days. During a rainy period, the vitamin C content is often lower. You should pick the rose hips when they are well colored but still hard. They are then easier to seed than soft fruits and the vitamin C content is highest in this state. Growth over and immature mean a lower vitamin content. Before further processing, remove the seeds from the fruit. First cut off the tip of the calyx, half the fruit lengthwise and scratch out the seeds with a small spoon or spatula. Make a bowl of water available for washing hands, as the rosehip seeds are densely covered with small hairs. Also rinse the fruit halves briefly. Don't throw away the seeds but dry them. They are also suitable for making tea. It tastes slightly of vanilla. Process the fresh fruit directly afterwards or dry them in a warm, airy, shady place, in a drying appliance or in the oven and store them until use. Fresh rose hips can be processed to jam, jelly, juice, liquor, sauce or as a pastry filling. Dried fruits are traditionally used to make tea. Due to its high vitamin C content, higher than that of lemons, it is mainly used to treat colds, but can also be mixed with apple slices to make a refreshing fruit tea which can also be enjoyed cold. Well then, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye.